What's up? What's up, everybody? Today, we are here on the Light and Dark only account. You know, the one where we use only Light and Dark monsters. So, this is an account that we cannot use Lucian on. However, we did just get a second awaken. I kind of wanted to leave that on there because I want to see these uh, these runes that we get. We did get a second awakened Jumeline. She is fully skilled up. I want to see if she's going to do enough damage with this Bloodthirst to nuke things like a Lucian would. I mean, within reason. Obviously, we're not going to be uh, nuking things that are like super defense tanky, but possibly be able to outspeed uh, attack power buff and just nuke things without a defense break. That's that's the game plan today. We're going to try to do this without a defense break. Just see how much she can actually nuke. Let's take a look at these. Hey, let's do these Valen runes. Yeah. Let's see what we get. I don't know what we're going to use this on on this account. Could be a CR rune, but it would still need to be reapped. But, <laughs> yeah. Okay, GG. Well, uh, fantastic. Okay, let's uh, do some Guild Wars. Let's do some Jumeline stuff. Match number one. Before we get this started, let's just nitpick this defense. If you guys are running a defense like this, right? So, we have a... I mean, unless this is a super crazy fast swift Ganymede, which I strongly doubt. Um, we have a CR and a Bomber. CR Bomber makes sense, kind of. And then we have a Ganymede over here. There's no strip on the enemy team. I mean, we don't have will runes, but that's a different... So, okay, so we should have will runes. We're going to try to outspeed anyway. And this is a swift Ganymede, then we're absolutely screwed. But um, there's no will runes. So they could just take turns and do whatever they want. And there's nothing that... W immunity completely shuts this team down. So if your defense looks like this... Yeah, it kind of makes sense if you have an arena offense with this and a Tiana. But there's no Tiana, there's no Chibu, there's no strip of any kind, there's nothing, right? So, uh, second team, they don't have any damage. I mean, they have damage kind of with him, with the Kamun, but this is easily controlled. He doesn't have any defense break to set up his damage, so we're going to take we're gonna take some, you know, standard second team, whatever we use this team all the time. First team, we're just going to try to absolutely just nuke this. Without a defense break or anything, we're going to see if Jumeline, I mean, we may lose, but we're going to see if Jumeline can just nuke through that team without even a defense break. So he was kind of, kind of fast, but not really too fast, right? So we got the resurge. We're going to go Bloodthirst. This is going to crit buff, and we are going to nuke. Do we, if we don't nuke, this is going to be a very short video. Okay, we didn't actually nuke. That's fine. That's fine. This is not attack power buff, so that's fine. Right, let's do a... You know, we haven't ever used uh, this before, have we? This uh, this light charger shark. So, light charger shark, he's got this drive, he's got attack power uh, speed break. This recovers HP and attack gauge if it kills. Can we kill? Or no? <laughs> no, that's the the answer is actually no. Okay, can we uh we probably should have killed with that, right? Let's just do a soul split over here. Is he five maybe he's five starred? I don't know, he might be five starred. Uh for the second team, lol. Let's just uh AoE stun this. We don't really need to do too much of this. We get the silence on here. Let's go. We've learned our lesson, right? We've learned our lesson. Let's go after the aerial first. 20 actually that's not that much damage on aerial. I feel like we should have done more damage. Right? Let's do uh, one of these. Decrease uh, cool cooltowns. Cool towns? Cool towns. That's right, guys. Decrease the cool towns. Uh, we'll do one of these. Capture opportunity. Uh, we will do an endless death. And then we'll do... And why is she not doing... Is she missing artifacts or something? She might be missing artifacts. We didn't check the shark beforehand. The shark is only five star. The shark is also uh, no artifacts or anything. We're going to use the attack power leader skill for this one. We'll see how much damage this does. It's not a crazy hard defense or anything. I just want to see if we can just nuke this without even needing a Lucian, right? So we can just uh, AoE, nuke, AoE nuke things. Then we're good. Let's do one of these. Oh, we didn't crit! We didn't- wait, we didn't crit. Why are we not crit- We're not critting, we're not doing damage. This girl's got some issues. I don't know, man. This girl's got some issues. Let's do another stun. <laughs> not critting on things. Not killing things. Not doing anything. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, let's do a capture opportunity on that. And let's just auto it. See, okay, so there she did some damage. But she also is missing artifacts. I did check. She doesn't have any artifacts at all. Of course. Uh, Bloodthirst. So we have the attack power leader skill. We have the attack power buff. And we have one of these. 
And we completely nuke everything. Cool. That's what I expected. That's what I want to... So we should be able to just clear some of these uh, defenses super easy. Match number three. We're not going to be able to clear this without a defense break of some kind. We got the defense leader skill. We got the tanky defense unit. We have another unit that's kind of usually built with tanky defense and HP. And then we have this one. He's got the damage mitigation here. So we do need a defense break and an attack power buff on here. We're going to take all this here. And for the second team... When do we use this guy, right? So let's, or, or, or whatever, it's a ghost trio. Anyway, when do we ever use that? So we're going to use that to nullify the paladin, and then we're also going to do this to CC and kill things, and then we're going to do this to CC and defense break, right? Set the, set the, um, the nine tails up. Anyway, let's, uh, let's do it. Let's get it started. Any excuse to use this nine tails? This nine tail is like so underrated. She really is. All right, Ariel's not going to be able to do his skill three. We're not going to get cut, are we? Oh, nice. We don't get cut. Cool. So, I don't know if we're going to be able to actually kill with this. I guess we'll find out. Let's see if we can kill with this. She's on rage. Or do we just do a lot of damage? We kill nobody. <laughs> nobody. If Ariel proc one time, one time this guy. Oh, my God. This Ariel is the bane of my existence this week. Okay, well, they had a lot of tankiness, though. They had, like, a defense leader skill and everything. So let's uh, see if we can nuke him down. Very nice. Unfortunately, we did. Even with the attack buff defense break, we did not get it down. Okay, let's do one of these. Let's do... Oh, guy likes to crit. Okay, let's do... Uh, I guess we'll do one of these. See if we resist. Very nice. Let's do... Can we kill this? Uh, we should move before the paladin, right? Yeah, we killed him once. Okay. Uh, and then we do one of these. Get our immunity up. And we'll go for this again. And we'll try to... Hey, stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Well, he's actually... See, he's, he's stripping that, though. I keep forgetting about this. I keep forgetting that he's going to keep stripping that. He's going to strip us. That's not good. We, do, we, we don't want to get stripped. Let's do... Okay, we did get a defense break. Let's get a... Can we get a sleep on you? Nice, we gotta sleep on you. Can we kill this regardless? No, we can't. I mean, we probably could have, but we didn't. Right? Welcome back, Perma, but uh, Eladriel's got his third skill that he can't use anymore. Oh my god, we're not land. I mean, they have a resistance lead, but still. Still, screw that. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Let's do a sleep here. Two turns sleep. This way, because we know she's gonna violent proc. We know that. Ooh, she's tanky, so, ooh, ooh, that's not good, that's not good. She's tanky, but clearly not tanky enough. All right, so we'll do one of these. We'll strip that uh, next time she gets her, she's going to get her skill too, so. Oh, I guess we don't need to strip anything off, right? So, let's do one of these. Let's do one of these. Sleep again. Uh, let's do kill this. And then we have nothing really to worry about, right? Even so, that Perda was still doing decent damage, even without a defense break or anything, right? So. Although these things are taking a decent... Are, is it my imagination, or are they taking a decent amount of damage here? The real question is, do we upload this? Because we saw Jumeline the other day, right? We get to see a little bit more Jumeline today. I just wanted to see if she was going to be able to nuke some of these uh, kind of... Kind of squishy-ish guild war defenses without even a defense break. Like, we, if we just take a Teon or a Konamiya, and if she's just going to be able to nuke, kind of like a Lucian would be able to do. And it seemed like she was, I mean, the twins one, she basically just nuked the whole thing by itself with one twin having just a little bit of HP uh, still left. And we could do some more crit damage on here. We could, I'm sure, get some better artifacts here. But at least, to a certain point, uh, might be nice for some people that want a second alternative to just like, oh, well, Lucian, nuke with Lucian, nuke with Copper Bulldozer. And then maybe you run out of Lucians and Coppers and Bulldozers and sculpts for those things. Maybe, you know, nuke with uh, Jumeline. This might be okay for, um, like, some early to mid-game. Like, I guess mid-game siege farming kind of stuff. You take a Konamiya and a Jumeline, and you uh, you just nuke things with those, like, two-man the defenses. But anyway, food for thought. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm going to upload this, but if I do, uh, that's it for this one. Hope you guys enjoy it. I'll see you as always in just a little Jumeline video, right? Uh, I'll see you as always in the next one.